Hi Pisces and welcome to Intimate Goddess Tarot. My name is Inez and today I'm doing your weekly love reading. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings so it cannot or will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. If it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading, you can contact me at IntimateGoddessTarot at gmail.com, okay? Let's get your reading started. This is my Pisces love. For the month of May. This is my Pisces love. For the month of May. For the This is my Pisces love. For the month of May. For the month of May. For the month of May. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. Let's see, Pisces, what we got here. Okay, so we got the Devil and the Knight of Pentacles. We got the King of Pentacles and the Wheel. I have the Two of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Now... The devil, I'm going to clarify the devil because the devil can mean a lot of things. Sometimes the devil is not a negative energy. It could be a good little devil. So, uh, basically, somebody here wants to come in and make an offer. Although this person is taking their sweet time to do it, but they want to make a stable offering to you. And this is going to happen, you know, with, eventually this person is going to come in and things are going to go within your favor and they're going to make this offering. But it looks like there's a decision that they have to make first. Looks like there's a decision here that needs to be made. This person is attracted to you. Very attracted to you. Very. So let's find out what this devil is all about. But like I said, the devil is sometimes a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. All depends on the surrounding cards. Okay? So let's find out what the devil is all about. Please get more information. Please get more information on the devil. Please get more information on the devil. Why is the devil here? Please get more information on the devil. Why is the devil here? Please get more information on the devil. Please get more information on the devil. Why is the devil here? Please get more information on the devil. Why is the devil here? Please get more information on the devil. I got the eight of the nine of swords, the ace of swords, and there's truth, and the seven of wands, and the emperor in reverse. So somebody's out of control. Somebody needs to get the, somebody needs to get control of their life again. Somebody is somebody's a wreck here. I got the emperor in reverse, and this person has no control of all. This person they having hard time sleeping, they're worrying about things, they're having anxieties, and that's because of some type of truth that they need that needs to be spoken here. There's some type of truth that this person needs to speak, and it could be there's something that they've been fighting for a while, something that they've been fighting to tell you. So this person's been fighting it. They've been fighting to tell you the truth. But this person 
they need to get it together. Whoever this person is, they need to get it together because they're having a hard time sleeping and they just out of control. This person has no control at all, no control. And they need to get their life together. Let's find out about this Knight of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Please give more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Please give more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Please give more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Please give more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So, I have the Seven of Swords here. I have the Three of Cups. And I got the Ace of Wands in reverse. Judgment in reverse. And the King of Cups here. So, Somebody's been up to no good here. Somebody could have been lying, cheating, being all sneaky. Because we got the three apart, we got the three of cups here. So this could have been a three-party situation. And somebody's coming back in wanting to make a love offering to you, but it's gonna get turned down. A second chance is not gonna be given here. There's not going to be a second chance, a new beginning. There's not gonna be a new beginning. Somebody here has been lying. And that's the reason why this person is having a hard time sleeping because their conscience is catching up to them. Or their conscience, whatever, is they feel guilty. And they've been fighting to tell you the truth. And that's because there's been a three-party situation going on here. They want to come back and make an offering to you, a stable offering. But it looks like the offering is going to get turned down. And there ain't going to be a new start here. Let's find out about the King of Pentacles. Please give more information on the King of Pentacles. Please give more information on the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Please give more information on the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Please give more information on the King of Pentacles. Please give more information on the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Please give more information on the King of Pentacles. Please give more information on the King of Pentacles. Please give more information on the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Okay. Whoever you're dealing with is married. This person is married. If they're not married, they're already in a committed relationship. Look. Look at this. The Three of Pentacles. We already have the Three of Cups here. This is a three-party situation here. The Three of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. And the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, she's wifey. She is the King of Pentacles' wife. This is his wife right here. That's his wife. So whoever this person is, they're already married. Either they're already married. If, if you don't know this, now you know. This person's either married or they're living in the same household with this woman, with a person or man. They're already living together. This is a three-party situation. And that's the reason why they're feeling so damn guilty because they know their ass is lying. They know that their ass is cheating because they're in a three-party situation. This person, I strongly feel that this person is married. Some of you guys don't know this. Some of you guys don't know this, know it already. But this person, they ended up putting you into a three-party situation. This King of Pentacles, he's already married. He's already in a relationship. Either he's married or he's in a relationship where he's living with the other person. Let me get some more on the King of Pentacles. Please get more information on the King of Pentacles. Please get more information on the King of Pentacles. Please get more information on the King of Pentacles. Please get more information on the King of Pentacles. Please get more information on the King of Pentacles. Please get more information on the King of Pentacles. Please get more information on the King of Pentacles. Please get more information on the King of Pentacles. 
Please give more information on the King of Pentacles. Please give more information on the King of Pentacles. I got the Eight of Swords and the Two of Cups. So he's in his head about this. He sees, although even though he's married, he still sees you as a soulmate. He loves you. Pisces, this could be you guys or it could be the other person. If I'm not picking up on your energy, I'm picking up on another person's energy. So if you guys need a flipping, then baby, go right ahead and flip it. Flip it like you're flipping burgers, okay? And this also applies to the men, not just to the females, okay? So this person sees, this other sees you as a soulmate and they got you in their head. They're constantly thinking about you. Even though they're with somebody else, married or living in the same household, and the Four of Wands is at the bottom of the deck as well. This person is married. I strongly feel that this person is married already. But they're in love with you. Please, give, please tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune. Please tell me more about the Wheel. Why is the Wheel here? Please tell me more about the Wheel. Why is the Wheel here? Please tell me more about the wheel. Why is the wheel here? Please give me more information on the wheel. Why is the wheel here? Please give me more information on the wheel. Why is the wheel here? Okay. So, I got the four swords right here. Whoever this person is, they're confused. Not confused. They are uh, well, yeah, they're confused because I got the seven of cups as well, and the four and the four of swords. This person, they they've been praying, meditating, doing some self reflecting, trying to get some answers, because this person is confused because they're already in a relationship, in a committed relationship or married. They're already in one, but yet. They're constantly thinking about you because they love you and they're in love with you, but they're already in. They're already with somebody else. So they're constantly either praying, meditating, doing some self-reflecting, trying to gain some answers because they're confused. They want to come towards you and make an offering with you and have a stable and have stability with you. They want this, but they're still confused. They're confused. They want to do it. They want to have a new start with you. I mean, this is the wheel of fortune, so eventually this person is going to be coming. Let me get some more. Please get more information on the wheel of fortune. Please get more information on the wheel of fortune. Please get more information on the wheel of fortune. Please get more information on the wheel of fortune. Please get more information on the wheel of fortune. Please get more information on the wheel of fortune. The Knight of the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So the love between the both of you guys is mutual. Because I got the King and Queen here. So the love between the both of you guys is mutual, which is the Two of Cups here. You guys love each other. And you guys this per you guys emotionally fulfill each other. And but this person, they're confused. They don't know what to do. They don't. Because they want to make an offering, an offering to you and have stability with you because they're in love with you and you mostly satisfy them. But they're already in a relationship or they're already married. I mean, it's not that hard to figure out what you should do. I mean, if you're in love with somebody, then you, and if you're in love with somebody and you're already married with someone, you with someone, the best thing you could do is to let the other person go. Because it's not fair to them or you that you hold on to them knowing that you're no longer in love with them, that you no longer feel the same way you used to feel at one point. Because all you're doing is blocking them. All you're doing is blocking the person that's actually meant to be with that person. Because if you no longer love them, then why continue being with them? Might as well just leave. Go to, you know, get a separation, get a legal separation, get a divorce, whatever. But let the person go. It's not fair to neither one of you guys. Because you're in love with somebody else. You want to be with that person. That person 
you're no longer with them, well, in love with them, so let them go. Let them go find their happiness elsewhere because it's not with you. So, but again, the two of swords, they need to make a decision. Let's find out. Please give me more information on the two of swords. Please give me more information on the two of swords. Please give me more information on the two of swords. Please give me more information on the two of swords. Please give me more information on the two of swords. Please give me more information on the two of swords. Why is the two of swords here? Please give me more information on the two of swords. Please give me more information on the two of swords. Okay, so I got the page of swords in reverse. You guys are not communicating at all. This person is feeling rejected. And because I got the three of swords here. Because this is a three-party situation. Either you're feeling rejected by this person or you rejected this person. And I got the six of swords. Moving away from this negative energy. So this person, whoever this person is, they're trying to make a decision if... Because this is, I mean, because they're hurt. Somebody here is hurt. Somebody here is hurt be because some they was re they got rejected. Somebody here is hurt because they was rejected with the three of swords here. If not that, somebody got rejected because of the three party situation. And they're moving away from this. They're moving away from this, so they're making the decision to leave it. To leave it alone. To just keep it moving because you guys are not communicating. Let's find out about the Queen of Wands. Please give more information on the Queen of Wands. Please give more information on the Queen of Wands. Please give more information on the Queen of Wands. Please give more information on the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Please give more information on the Queen of Wands. Please give more information on the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Please give more information on the Queen of Wands. Please give more information on the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Please give more information on the Queen of Wands. Okay. So I have the High Priestess here. You guys may be spiritually connected here. You guys may be spiritually connected or one of you guys is very spiritual. You could be very spiritual, very religious, intuitive, such as myself. And this person still loves you. This person wants a new beginning in love. We got the Ace of Cups here and they want to come back. They're going to come back because this person does love you. And I got the Five of Cups. This person is miserable without you. They're missing you. And at the bottom of the deck, we got the Six of Cups. They're constantly thinking about you. They're constantly reminiscing about you. And they want to come back because they're in love. So, I mean, I got the, the King and Queen of Cups. I got the Ace of Cups here, the Two of Cups. You guys are in love with each other. You guys are in love with each other. But there's a problem. Somebody's married here. Somebody's already with somebody. Somebody's already in a committed relationship. And this person needs to make a decision. This person needs to make a decision. And from what it looks like, until they're making a, being that they're not making a decision, you're making a decision for them and you're leaving. You're leaving because you, you don't want to be in a three-party situation at all. You ain't trying to be with them. They're not doing anything about it, so you're leaving. You're leaving, but eventually somebody's coming back because they're in love with the other person. Because this person is very attracted to you. And they find you, um, they, they feel that you are very creative, ambitious, you're bold. And they love this about you. They're very attracted to you. Attracted to you. And you guys, like I said, you guys could be spiritually connected here. But the problem is, is that somebody's already married. And until that gets resolved, I don't know what you guys are going to do. You guys are going to take this person back. That's the reason why this person's having a hard time sleeping. And they're worried because 
they need to take control of their life. Take control of your life. If you're in love with somebody else, then you know what you got to do. File for divorce. Separate. Don't hold on to someone that you no longer in, that you no longer love. Let that person, you know, keep it move on. And they're worried about that because either because you're probably ready know the truth, or you're gonna find out the truth that they're already with somebody. So Pisces, I do not know what you guys are gonna do. I do not know. I don't know. Pisces, if this is you guys that's having here a hard time making a decision, trying to figure out who you should be with, okay, the, the question is pretty simple. I mean, if you're married, is a different story because there's a lot of things that you got to take into consideration, especially if you have kids, you have houses and all that good stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of things you got to take into consideration, but at the same time, you need to think about if this person that you're married to or you're in a committed relationship with, if you're no longer happy with them and you no longer love them the way you used to at one point and you're now in love with somebody else, the best thing you can do is let that person go. That's the best thing you can do is let that person go and let that person find the one that's meant to be with them. Because apparently it's not you because you fell out of love with them and you fell in love with somebody else. And all you're doing by remaining with this person, all you're doing is blocking the person that's actually meant to be with this person. So it's not fair to you or to, your, or to the other person for you guys to remain together. Because if you feel that the other person that you love, the other person is the one that you love, is the one that you want to be with, because that's the one you see as your soulmate, then you need to listen to your heart and follow your heart. That's what you need to do. But that's just my opinion. That's, you know, you guys really don't need to take my opinion because you guys are grown-ass people, grown-ass man and woman. You guys do whatever the hell you want to do because at the end of the day, you're the one that's going through this, not me. Okay? It's your life, not mine. So you guys do what you want to do. I'm just saying... It's not fair to neither one of you guys to remain in a relationship that you're no longer happy in. Especially if you found someone else that makes your heart race, that you're in love with, that just makes your heart skip a beat. Okay? So, let's get your guidance message here. Please give me a guidance message for Pisces. Please give me a guidance message for Pisces. Please give me a guidance message for Pisces. Please give me guidance message for Pisces. Please give me guidance message for Pisces. Please give me guidance message for Pisces. Surrender your battles. The angels are asking you to hold your peace and surrender the battles to them. Okay. So this is all I have for you guys. I will see you guys again for your monthlies. You guys take care. Be safe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And while you're at it, don't forget to wash your hands. And while you're at it, wash that ass. Okay? So, Pisces, stay cool. Bye.